Hi guys and welcome to my studio tour. So the last studio tour video I uploaded was well over a year ago and since then I have made some big changes that I want to share with you guys. So for those of you who have seen the first video, you'll notice some big updates. And for those of you joining me for the first time, welcome to my studio. So this is how we enter the studio from these sliding doors. Um, here is a quick panoramic shot of the entire thing so that you guys can see the entire room uh, before I start diving into the little details. So let's begin here. This kind of stay has stayed the same since the first studio tour I did. I still have my bed here that I use to take naps, relax, or just if I need to lie down after um, a long day of working. I changed this area here. Um, I installed these this new set of drawers from Ikea. I have some of my packaging supplies in here, like my <laughs> giant fragile stickers. Um, also on top, I have my crystal collection. And this is actually a tray for the bathroom that I bought at Marshall's. It was a super good deal and I love the Baroque ornaments. And these are some of the crystals I've gotten over the years. Some of them I bought myself and some of them were presents from friends and also you lovely viewers who've sent me stuff to my P.O. box. You guys are so sweet. So yeah, this is one of my favorite little drawers. The top is so decorative and the bottom is functional. Here I just have some pieces of wood. Um, here's a frame that I recently spray painted and I'm going to install into a painting. Just some unused wood boards and stuff. My bed is relatively the same. I have this furry blanket I got from, well, faux fur blanket I got from Target. Let's see, these lights, I've had these since the beginning. I spent hours and hours installing them. They are from Ikea, and I just love laying down here. It's like a nice, dreamy little nook. Again, from Ikea, I have a lot of my art supplies in here. I got some illustration tools, sketchbooks, and other things like that. On this side, I have some packaging supplies and tools. Got my box of gloves that I use for painting. And on top here, we have some of the oil paints. Um, this is all from Gamblin. They were kind enough to send me some oil paints to use years ago, and I'm still going through them. Oil paints really last a while. Another light from Ikea, it's red. I love the mood lighting. Um, and I have a bunch of fake plants. Most of the plants you see on my in my studio are fake because I'm really terrible at watering them. Here is actually a print of one of my pieces from 2016, I believe, titled Moi Rai. I sold the original, so I have the print to remember it by. Here is an original titled Constellation. Over here, I have my black and white laser printer that I use for labels and other things and um, this is not the printer I use to make prints. Um, this is kind of my all-purpose printer. Here I actually have a little bamboo tablet that I sometimes use. It's from Wacom and I use it to do digital mock-ups in Photoshop. I don't really do digital painting but this is really good for concept sketching. I have a scanner that I use for some of my pieces. Um, my little container full of markers and illustration supplies, colored pencils, rulers, scissors, um, this amazing automatic pencil sharpener that I swear by. It's from Amazon. I think it was maybe around 20 bucks, but this saves me so much time. I just You just put the, here, let me show you guys. Just take a pencil and you put it in. And it, sharp, it sharpens it in like a few seconds. It's amazing. Okay, up here is one of my favorite parts of this room. This is probably my most prized possession. It is a signed lithograph print of Michael Jackson's 1990s uh, album cover for Dangerous, which is actually my favorite Michael Jackson album. I can't believe it, it's signed by Michael Jackson. And fun fact, the cover was painted by one of my favorite artists, Mark Ryden. So it's like two worlds colliding. And uh, my boyfriend got this for me for my birthday a few years ago. And we went through a whole journey to get it framed, to find the perfect frame. So this sits right next to where I work so I can see it every day. Okay, here is my desk area. I got um, my desktop. And I like to use wireless mouse and wireless keyboard because my wires get all tangled. Oh, I love this lamp, this little desk lamp. Oh, <laughs> it's so bright. I got it from Ikea, you guessed it. 
Um, I actually recently got this. It's perfect for filming illustration videos because I can point it to my tabletop here. Got my little James Jean bullet journal. I'll keep that shut for now because it's a mess in there. And yeah, here's my wall of paintings. I actually spent quite some time installing it. Um, some pieces you might remember from the last tour, like this piece here, the Audrey Hepburn piece, that I think I painted over two years ago, but it holds a special place in my heart, so I love looking at it for nostalgic memories. Um, my little, a second Audrey Hepburn piece, I don't know if you can tell, but this is also Audrey Hepburn's face that I borrowed, and of course my cat booger face. Um, yeah, these two are like sisters. Over here, I have my DSLR, and this is kind of my setup for how I film my time lapses. Um, I zoom using the zoom lens, and I point it at whatever painting I'm working on. I saved my comfortable chair for painting, um, because, you know, comfort is important. But look at the top here. This is all scratched up by my cats, so my cats sometimes like to perch on the top of this chair, and they've just ruined it, so... Definitely not planning to resell this. <laughs> my triple tier IKEA cart, which is so functional and it's one of my favorite things. Seriously, you guys, IKEA is like an artist's dream. I mean, there's so many little things that are perfect for an art studio. My silly coil jar, my brushes, my rags that I like to wipe the paint on. Here's the painting I'm working on right now. Um, it's a mermaid, mermaid hybrid and I am almost done. I have one more layer. So not really almost done, maybe like 75% done. My messy palette. I also am a huge fan of Christmas lights. So you'll see me having a lot of lights. Like I had some in my bed and I had some here too. Another shot of the wall. This is an old palette from years and years ago that I like to keep for decoration. Uh, this little real taxidermied moth that my boyfriend got me. And these are some unsold pieces from gallery shows earlier this year that I like to keep in my studio. It's just nice to paint and then look at paintings. It's, it's a really nice ambiance, but I do have to be careful to not splatter anything on the wall or else I'll ruin these originals, but nothing has happened so far. Yay! And these are supposed to be windows, but I keep them shut because one, I'm a nocturnal vampire, and two, um, natural light actually messes with the lighting for my time lapses, so I prefer to have this really bright spotlight, and it helps give me um, a really nice lighting for my, my time lapses. It also helps reduce glare, so I usually keep the blinds drawn. Um, here on this side, this is the part that's really different from the last studio tour. I used to have like a couch here and a coffee table and a dresser and since then I've replaced it all with something more functional because I just found I needed more workspace. So here I have these, they're actually uh, photography studio lights. Uh, sometimes I point this in whichever direction I need like when I'm filming um, me talking to camera. It's a really nice soft light for your face. Um, other times I just use it to light up my, my little workstation here. So again, desk drawers all from Ikea. I got a second laptop here that I use for live streaming and uh, when I make prints, got my printer taking a nap under this fuzzy blanket. This is the big one I use for making fine art prints. And then here we have really messy drawers that I'm too embarrassed to show because <laughs> a lot of them are a huge mess. But um, this one is actually a really interesting drawer. Contains some extra paper that I use for drawings but also a lot of my old artworks from when I was a kid that I haven't really shared with anyone yet and um, yeah my mom actually found them in our old house and I took them home to my studio. I really want to scan them one day and maybe upload them just to see. But yeah, <laughs> it was like a hedgehog. So funny. In this corner we have some more wood panels. Um, a lot of these large ones remain unused because lately I've been kind of drifting towards doing a lot of smaller works, so. Uh, this is the Christmas tree, <laughs> or as close to a Christmas tree as I can get. I actually keep this tree in my studio at all times, even if it's not the holidays. Like I said before, I'm a huge fan of tiny little Christmas lights. Just love the mood that they give, and they kind of remind me of stars. Here is me, hello! And over here we have a shelving unit that is, again, from Ikea. I actually really love this 
particular unit because it's very modular so you can buy these shelves separately and arrange them in whatever configuration you want this is kind of the overall shape and structure that I came up with um, on the bottom here we have a bunch of packaging tubes and here we have <laughs> a hodgepodge of things we got the lids for the tubes some of my makeup stuff fake plant um, some more makeup stuff on top and this is kind of a a random uh, shelf. I got this beautiful lotus candle that I never use. Like I never burn a candle in it because it's so beautiful even without it. A scale that I use to weigh my packages. Some more gambling stuff here. I got a solvent free gel medium which is my favorite medium. Some Gamsol. I got my unused frames that I like to collect up here. And some more wood boards that I have not used yet. On this side we have my extra brushes, <laughs> these dried flowers that I was going to throw away but I actually think they look pretty cool dried. Um, more fake plants, got some bins for organizational purposes, and my nail stuff. Um, oh yeah, and then behind here are some of the artworks that you guys have sent me. These are so adorable. I actually really want to hang some up here and just make some more space for the stuff you guys send me because I really, really love them. And yep. That is the shelving unit. And this is a giant fake plant from Ikea. I believe it's bamboo. Um, it adds a little nice touch of nature to the studio. And it's sad that it's not real, but at least my cats won't be eating it and barfing everywhere. And then some mess behind it that we don't need to talk about. So yeah, this is pretty much my entire studio. I spend most of my life in here, my waking hours in here. This is where I make all my videos, where I make all my paintings, and it's one of my favorite places to be in the world. It brings me a lot of comfort and a feeling of productivity, I guess, so I hope you guys enjoy it too. Alrighty guys, that's it for my studio tour. Thank you guys so much for coming along with me today, and if you like this video, and you don't mind clicking thumbs up and subscribing, it really helps out my channel and I really appreciate it. So from the bottom of my heart, I wish you guys a really happy and safe holiday season and I hope to catch you guys in the next video. Bye! And before I leave, I just quickly wanted to announce that I have given my Patreon page a huge makeover. This past month, I have been working extra hard in trying to improve my rewards so that they can be catered towards what you guys want to see the most. So I've added so many new things such as monthly video tutorials that are exclusive to patrons only, a longer 40 minute video podcast where I answer your questions about art career. There's also step-by-step -step tutorial guides and a peek into my secret sketchbook that I don't show anyone else and so many more cool rewards. I would love it if you guys checked it out and joined my awesome Patreon family. You can go to patreon.com slash happy artist. All right, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.